Hey everybody, welcome back to Gideon Stuff. Today, we're taking a look at a really, really cool knife. This is the Devo Knives Growler version two. Now, before we get into this video, all of these are sold out. However, hopefully Devo will be doing another run. I do know they are in fact gonna be doing a premium run of Devos, or you know, that's the plan for, or premium run of Growlers. That's the plan right now, so. Um, yeah, keep an eye out for that, but this is a really, really cool knife and I want to get this review done. So let's go ahead and do it. Let's start off with our blade length measurement. So sharpened edge here is coming in a little bit over three inches. We're getting, you know, kind of that almost that three and a quarter inch range. If we measure all the way back to the scale, yeah, we're under three and a half inches, a little more than three and a quarter. So there you go. All righty. Let's go ahead and get our size comparisons out. Start off with our rats, as always. Here's a Model 2. Where did I put the Model 1? There he is. <laughs> and the Model 1. So yeah, definitely kind of similar in length to the Model 2, but definitely broader than both of these. The uh, Growler is a little bit of a chunky boy. All right, let's bring out our Civivis. The Praxis. And where's that element I'm at? Goodness gracious, guys. I'd lose my head if it wasn't screwed on. There it is. Stare me right in the face. <laughs> and there's the elementum. Cool, cool, cool. Let's go ahead and bring out our USA made comparisons. Spyderco PM2. Mench made bug out. Nice. And Let's go ahead and compare this also against the Kubi Tidious, just because I have it here and there's a little bit of similarities. And let's compare against the original Growler, which we have right here. And we will kind of go through um, some differences between the two of these um, as a review progresses. So there we go. What are we looking at here in terms of our materials? We have a blade of 154 cm. Aluminum scales on this particular version, steel wire pocket clip, steel liner lock, and it is running on bearings. So let's go ahead and go cut some stuff. Alrighty guys, who's ready to do some review cutting? I am, that's who. Also, just a quick note, a little bit before I started recording when I first got down here, I was checking cows and stuff, and I saw some elk up on this ridge behind me, and they're headed that way towards the trees, so they're probably gone, but if they do reappear, I guess I'll notice it when I'm editing the video and I'll circle them or, or something. So I'll just keep an eye out. Anyways, today we are doing review cutting for the Devo Knives Growler version two. This is a really, really cool knife. Um, I was a big fan of the original. You guys might remember, although you might not because no one watched my review of the original. That video has gotten no views hardly. So. This is going to be the replacement. This is a really, really cool knife. Let's go ahead and get into it. Let's start off that action. Beautiful, beautiful action. One of the things I complained about with the original was that the hole was a little bit big. They have fixed that here. And oh my goodness, guys, I am telling you. <sighs> Devo Knives knows how to make a reverse flicker. I mean, this thing just, whether you're doing the reverse flick or the thumb flick, it rockets out of there. I think I can even front flip this one. Yeah, you can front flip it too, so <laughs> if that's your thing, there you go. Just a fantastic action. Watch that close. Oh yeah. Oh yeah, that's great. That's good stuff right there. Um, ergonomics. Sorry about that, guys. Got a phone call. Anyways, we were talking about the ergonomics. They're really dang solid. Um, these aluminum scales are a little bit contoured, so they feel the, ha the hand nicely. The knife is kind of tall, so you got a good grip there. The jimping up here is excellent. I mean, look at all that jimping. And it's a really nice texture. You can choke up into this 50-50 choil. Just really, really great ergos. Good job again, Devo. Also, I hope the wind's not too bad. This was the prettiest day I had to come and film, and it's actually already getting cold the wind's picking up a little bit and it's dropped like 10 degrees since i've been out here so we'll see what what happens uh, let's go ahead and talk about the carry so this does have a reversible clip 
awesome. I would expect that from Lefty EDC. A wire clip, and it works really, really nicely. Slides very, you know, smoothly on the aluminum, in out of pocket, really, really good. Yeah, the knife itself isn't, you know, excessively heavy, so it's not gonna give you a whole lot of problems in that regard. Okay, let's go ahead and do some cutting. So we have a 154CM blade here, kind of a big belly blade. Um, I loved the original a whole lot. Uh, I thought the blade shape was really, really useful. Through that. And this one is the same as well. Let's move this camera back just a hair. Great blade shape. Great, great blade shape. You might think because it's basically all belly that it wouldn't be the most versatile blade shape, but I think this is a great blade shape for outdoor stuff as well as um, uh, basic EDC tasks. So very, very cool. All righty, let's get our rope out here. Very, very clean. Oh yeah, oh yeah. A lot of power in that blade. A lot of power. And let's go ahead and get our pool noodle. We're running low on this thing. Let's do this. Whoa. Okay, so, yeah, let's do one more. Yeah, there we go. All right, so that was a little bit sticky. Have that piece right there. Where'd the other piece go? I'll grab it here in a second. So when I tried to go very thin, um, the B blast on the blade kind of got a little bit sticky on the pool noodle. But other than that, the edge felt really good and it sliced very, very nicely. Let's go ahead and get back to the table. Alrighty. Let's go ahead and talk about what I'm liking and not liking about this knife. Now, if you'll remember from when I reviewed the original, which was, I think, a year ago exactly from the time you're seeing this video, I was a big, big fan of this knife. I love this design, and I'm very happy to say that they pretty much perfected it in the version 2. The version 1 had some issues. The version 2 is damn near perfect. <laughs> it's a really, really cool knife. So before we go too much further, let's point, I guess we'll kind of point out differences as we go along. One difference is the blade shape is actually slightly different, or at least the treatment of it. You can see here, this, the newer version has a swedge up here that's lacking on the original. Um, I think it looks really, really good here. And the blade hole is a lot smaller. This helps a lot with the action. The action on this knife is absolutely fantastic. That hole works so well, whether you're doing a thumb flick or the reverse flick. You can slow roll it. Just a great, great hole. Very smooth in the pivot. These are made by Kubi. These ones were made by Shielden, I believe. And they're very smooth as well, but the hole it was a little bit harder to use. Sometimes you get your finger stuck in there. And see, I'm so used to this one, I can't even do this one good anymore. <laughs> but there we go. The ergonomics is something that's also noticeably better on the new version. And that is because the scales are contoured as opposed to the flat scales on this. And that was one of the things I said when I first reviewed this one was, I wish it had contoured scales because then the ergonomics would be just about perfect. Well, lo and behold, you contour the scales and the ergonomics become just about perfect. Plus, this aluminum feels so nice. I love aluminum. It's probably one of my favorite handle materials. I think it feels super premium, and just really, really nice. And this aluminum is not super slippery. Um, like some aluminum can be. It's also not got that chalky kind of texture that you can, you know, some companies like to treat their their aluminum with. It just feels really, really nice. Access to the lock bar is excellent. 
They did a good amount of jumping on lock bar too. It feels really, really nice. Bit of an improvement over this one. And honestly, this knife just feels so much more premium than this one. And yeah, this one was, you know, a little more expensive, but honestly, I think it's worth it. I think it's absolutely worth it. Um, again, with the ergonomics, this jimping up here, I love this. I love this so much. So many knife companies don't do jimping right. And I always complain, oh, the jimping doesn't go out far enough. Well, this goes pretty much the whole length of the blade. Is it excessive? No. This gives you so many options for a good, secure grip on this knife. It's just, it's beautiful. And the texture is really, really nice. It works out really well. I love it. I really, really love it. The clip is also a massive improvement. This wire clip works great. It slides very easily in and out of your pocket on this aluminum. It's reversible. Hip, hip, hooray. Lefties rejoice. This clip on the original um, was not all that great. In fact, I broke this clip. I had to fix it. Um, but yeah, much improved on this newer version. Um, what else? This came in three different colorways that all looked great. I got the blue aluminum one, obviously, but all the different colorways looked amazing. Um, I love that little pop of silver. I love me some blue aluminum. I also love um, Devo's Pivot. Very, very cool. Keeps the branding off the blade. Very minimal. I like it a whole lot. Um, these are made by Kubi, by the way. I should mention. mentioned... Oh, I did. I think I did mention that. <laughs> My bad. Kubi did a great job here. Steel marking. Right there, 154cm, very, very minimal branding on the blade. Again, this 50-50 choil here is really awesome to up into. You got a great grip on this thing. And this blade is amazing. It's pretty much all belly, which you might not expect to be the greatest versatile blade shape, but it is. I've done food prep with this. I've broken down cardboard. As just an EDC knife, this tip is low enough to get to very easily. It's actually pretty much in line with the pivot. Pretty good piercer. I love this blade shape. And I, I've said this many times. I've told Kevin this himself, one of the designers of this knife. If they ever decide to do a fixed blade, if Devo Knives ever decides to do a fixed blade, they should do a fixed blade version of the Growler. This here would make a phenomenal EDC slash small outdoor fixed blade. This blade here is great for skidding. When I reviewed the original, I did a bunch of wood testing with it. It worked amazingly on a lot of wood processing tasks. It's a really, really nice blade shape. And I, yeah, I think this would make for an excellent, excellent fixed blade. All right. So basically all of my, all, all the pros on this knife, it has everything that was good about this version. And then everything that I, you know, didn't like or thought could be better on this one they fixed. And that right there is a pro in and of itself that Devo Knives decided to release a Model 2 that improved everything that the community had issues with on the first one. And that's one of the benefits of these brands that we're seeing pop up that are kind of run by the community is that, you know, Kevin has a YouTube channel. He has a direct line tapped into the community. He interacts with people a lot. He knows what the general knife audience is expecting and wanting out of these knives. And that gives a maker a very unique perspective. It allows them to really focus in on what works with their products and what doesn't. And then if they want to fix their products to um, uh, appeal to their audience, they can do it. And I think that's a beautiful, beautiful thing. So good job, Devo Knives. All right. Um, let's go ahead and talk about some negatives, which there's not really any, <laughs> to be honest with you. So one negative that some people might have with this aluminum version, focus up camera, is that the aluminum can scratch. Come on, camera. Focus up here. <laughs> As you can see, mine has, yeah, taken some... Taking some damage, I have used the snot out of this knife. I love this knife. It has gone into the field with me many, many times. I don't really consider that to be a negative. Um, I think it's personality to the knife. It kind of tells a story, but some people might not like that. If you don't like that aluminum can take scratches, don't get an aluminum version, right? <laughs> get something, get, you know, to get a different handle material. So it's not really that big of a complaint. 
And the next thing is I do not like the finish on this blade. This is my one complaint. It's a, it kind of is a polished bead blast, but I, I don't like it. I just really don't like this finish. I, I wish they would have done a stone wash or a satin on this version. Just not a big fan of this, but those are all my complaints. And that's, that's pretty good. This knife here is one of my favorite knives ever. I love the Growler. I loved the original. I carried this knife so much. I was absolutely head over heels for this knife. And I'm happy to say that this one has completely blown me away and is probably one of my favorite knives that I currently own. I love the Growler and the version two fixed everything I had issue with on the first version. And it just, gosh, it just feels premium. It feels so, so much better. These, honestly, if my eyes were closed, I wouldn't be able to tell you that these were the same company, right? Um, the quality was just out the wazoo with this thing. So I love it. If you got one, you know how good they are. If you did not get one, hopefully there'll be another run. You'll get another chance. Maybe you get a chance to pick one up on the secondary. And then, you know, the premium ones will be coming out sometimes. So keep an eye out for those. I just, yeah, I cannot recommend this knife enough. This thing is fantastic. I love the Devo Knives Growler. And that is all I'm going to say about that today, guys. Thank you so much for watching. If you enjoyed this video, leave it a like, comment below, and subscribe. I've been Gideon, and I'll see you in the next one. Adios.